In November of last year, the US Eagles soared into their sixth Rugby World Cup after beating Uruguay over two legs. Their hero that day was their very own Captain America. Once we got the, the win on that, it was just a way off the shoulders and uh, it was excitement and, you know, it's sort of like now, now it's real. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't say, you know, we're preparing right away from there, but, you know, because we still had quite a bit. Now it's sort of, you know, we're, we're in less than a year away. Now, now, now it's time to turn up, uh, turn up the gears a little bit and, uh, and get everything sorted out for it. As part of their 2011 World Cup preparations, the team are touring Europe. Their first stop was the financial centre in the city of London and a warm-up match against English Premiership side Saracens. It's brilliant because we don't get these opportunities too much. You know, kind of our mainstay every year is the Churchill Cup, which has been based in America. So having the guys together um, outside America is great on, on a tour. A uh, proper road trip, as they call it. You cope with anything with, if, if you train for it. So this is a, a good, uh, good preparation. You know, this is how it's going to be. It's, it's going to be wet. It's going to be windy. It's going to be cold. It's uh, we're going to be on the move. Play a game. Get on a flight. Play a game a couple days later. So it's uh, so, so it's you know it, it's 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 I think it's planned out really well. Uh, the tour and you know Saracen's been great to pick up that match for us. The warm-up fixture uh, gives the, gives the younger guys a good run against uh, some fully professional guys. But the U.S. have a few big names of their own. Chief among them is Tagutswan Nguenya, who shot to prominence in the 2007 World Cup when he left a rather famous name, uncharacteristically flat-footed. When Mike gave me the ball, I saw Brian, and honestly, I didn't want to take him out on the outside. That was the last thing on my mind. I was just trying to cut back inside, gain some yards, and have the boys come clean me up. But he's, he's a decent defender, pretty much if not one of the best wings defending. So he was also a little too confident in his speed. So he pushed me outside. I didn't want to go there at all. When he pushed me, I was like, OK, I'm just going to go for it. If he pushes me out of touch, it's it. But I'm going for it. And then uh, when I started running, I was like, OK, I think I got him. I got him. I was already celebrating before I got to the line. I knew I had him beat. Having moved to Biarritz in France, Nguenya joined the growing list of eagles playing professionally around the world. The side does, however, still boast a core of home-based amateurs who are reaping the benefits of the game's national growth. I think if you look at the squad now, that's current squad, I think there's 16, almost 17 players have come through the American pipelines of high school, uh, under 20s and all Americans. And that's very, very you know, encouraging because I think the game is getting more traction, but the colleges will play a huge part. You know, that's when most of the players get to take up rugby is when they leave high school, they go to university, which has a rugby programme. And those rugby programmes are growing fast and they're, they're high quality. And some of these young players will gain invaluable experience when they face such formidable group opponents as Australia and Ireland. With only one victory to date, Eddie O'Sullivan has identified the team he hopes will bring about a second World Cup win. The Russian game is a game that we're capable of winning. We played Russia in the Churchill Cup and beat them, and we had to work very hard to achieve that. So it'll be a tough game, but a game that we say, this is our World Cup, we've got to win that. I mean, you're playing two Six Nations teams in Ireland and Italy and also a Tri-Nations team, I think, uh, you know, if we do anything in those games, it'll be a huge surprise. But at the same time, knowing the group of lads we have, uh, they won't be shy of throwing the kitchen sink at any of those teams if the, when the opportunity arises. I think we need, we need to get a win in this World Cup and uh, we need to improve and we need to, you know, you know, open the eyes of Americans back home to it. So we really want to, uh, you know, put a good outing out and, and, uh, and show, them, show them what rugby is about and hopefully that will open the eyes of uh, young, young men and women to, to, to pick up a rugby ball and, uh, and, and start playing. First half performance full of grit and determination enabled the Eagles to go into the break still on level terms with Saracens. But the London side pulled clear in the second half, giving Eddie O'Sullivan plenty to work on in the months ahead. Things improved though a few days later when they defeated Portugal 22-17 and they'll be hoping to build on that success with upcoming games against the Scottish 15 and Georgia. <laughs>